Okay, kilowatt one station, kilowatt one station. This is a KC9 VKV. Okay, Victor Kilo Victor. Hi, Jim. My name is David. Uh, I heard you. I, I don't understand what you're doing, but uh, Kilo one Delta Quebec Zulu. Back to you, Jim. Roger. Well, we're uh, recording live, uh, and uh, then uh, we record live for about an hour and a half between 3.30 and uh, 5 Eastern on Friday afternoons. And then uh, in a couple of days, we'll post it up onto YouTube. And you can go to YouTube and uh, do a call letter search of Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. And uh, that'll take you to the QSO Vlog page, and on that page, uh, you'll be looking for uh, an air check entitled uh, My Group Air Check 22219. Roger? My Group Air Check. I'll take a look at that. recorded now, James? Uh, Roger, Roger. Now, uh, what kind of radio are you running, sir? Uh, I am running a Kenwood TF890F. Uh, let me see here. Presently putting out about 100. And on an offset or fed dipole, the Carolina Wyndham series, the uh, Wyndham 40. I find that the 40 has a lot lower angle of takeoff than the uh, 80 does, so I, I uh, just use the 40 and I put, uh, primarily phone on uh, 40 and 20. That's about it. And I also have a bank of uh, Julius's uh, uh, speed crossing equipment, W2IHY's equipment. And so I hope I'm sounding okay. Uh, LLC, the ALC is uh, not in the red. And uh, back to you, James. Uh, KC9, VKV, K1, DQZ. Roger, now I am uh, noticing uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, stuff between the words kind of sucking up. I, I would think that... Uh, well, just my uh, personal taste, but uh, I'm not sure how much your, uh, compression you're running. Do you know, uh, uh, is that an outboard compression situation or, or uh, inboard? That is a outboard, and that's turned all the way down to nothing. Uh, you might be hearing stuff between the words because I have a bad tendency to speak into the microphone instead of turning my face uh, kind of like adjacent to the microphone. I don't know if this is any better. Over. Wow. <laughs> if you were to pause, I'm afraid your compression would overtake you and, and suck you into the radio, Roger. Oh, okay. Uh, the uh, radio is actually all the default settings, uh, except the mic. Uh, no, the mic is at the default 52. I'm exciting it with the uh, amplifier with 40 watts, but uh, like I said, the outboard compression is uh, all the way down. And so I'll check that then. Thank you. Roger, which radio are you running, sir? The uh, Kenwood uh, TS-890S. Roger, Roger. Well, you know, uh, the thing is, uh, what we're, you know, probably looking for is a, a fat signal, uh, like about 3 dB dynamic ranges. It's pretty fat. Uh, I have, have uh, copied the uh, mail on a uh, 7610, ICOM 7610, uh, with somebody demonstrating the drive control. And I don't know if you've ever heard anybody mess with a drive control of a 7610, but it can smash the audio dynamic range down to about a half a dB with a whole lot less distortion than what you would think uh, uh, a half a dB <laughs> dynamic range audio signal would be. But, uh, you know, a 3 dB is uh, probably, uh, you know, about 80% uh, average peak modulation. Um, and uh, that is, um, you know, mostly in your... Uh, ALC, that's a limiter in that circuit. So when you, uh, when you uh, kind of uh, push that limiter just a little bit uh, to the right-hand side of, um, of uh, center stage, uh, that's, that's uh, where I love to be. There's a little pocket there between uh, a half to two-thirds. That's uh, a really ideal little pocket there. And I found that uh, usually just a, a little bit of... Uh, uh, compression uh, uh, from the uh, internal compressor running at about a 3 will uh, usually, uh, you know, uh, give you uh, about, a, depending on what your mic level is, will give you about uh, a 3 dB dynamic range, Roger. 
Okay, Roger. I'll look into that. And you're right. I'm just on the edge. I'm just peeking. And I'm just a little bit over. So, you see that you are correct. And I'll take a look at that. Like I said, everything's up to the false setting. I just got it. And uh, haven't had many, uh, uh, you know, uh, audio uh, uh, critiques or anything like that. But I'll, I, and I'll listen to your, uh, I'll, I'll listen to the, uh, the pod on this too. That, that sounds very interesting. Uh, Roger. Now, I'll tell you, there's another trick you can use. Is, uh, you know, if you're just looking at your watt meter and key your radio, and that watt meter should not hardly move as far as residual uh, meter movement. Uh, it should stay towards the left-hand side. If you if you wind up with that meter coming up like a, at half an inch or an inch, then you're 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 compressing too much. Uh, you want to just uh, you know have that meter come up just a little bit uh, without any any audio. You know, but if you are running quite a bit of compression, uh, when you just did key it there and, and look at it, if that meter comes up to, uh, you know, a, a third of the scale or, or even an eighth of the, or a quarter of the scale, then you probably want to pull something down. Roger? Okay, Roger. Roger, Roger. I never knew that. So thanks, Jim. I won't keep you any longer, and I will look at your video log. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for calling me in, and I'll take a look at this. So, 73s, nice meeting you. Uh, KC9, VKV, this is Kilowatt 1, Delta Quebec Zoo, 73s, and thanks a lot, Jim. Roger, Roger, and uh, that last transmission, you were in the clear and uh, sounding good, so uh, you've got uh, audio that you can uh, hear very well what your signal is at this point. Uh, so just uh, head towards uh, YouTube in the next couple of days, and do that call it a search of KC9VKV, and then uh, look for uh, QSO entitled My Group Air Check 22219. Today's date, 22219. Roger. QSO, Roger James, and 73. Roger, Roger, three is that way. This is KC9 VKV in the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out the audio, give me a shout, KC9 VKV.